Hello everyone, I'm here on my common flight ground which is a bit crappy as you know because it's just uh, some kind of uh, rugby field without uh, much possibilities to interesting stuff but it's very convenient to fly quads because basically you have no one here so you can do almost what you want um, so I'm here to fly again with this little quad which is a pickle 3 inch uh, ultralight setup uh, which means that um, basically it is a normal toothpick style build with uh, 11 or 3 motors but using 3 inch props the all of uh, the um, dry weight is 49 grams with an IO camera uh, and a crossfire setup and uh, beta FPV 12 amps board um, this build um, was made to be the lightest as possible. I surely can shave a few grams off of that, but it's not so bad. Um, so on the other video, I posted one one video of flight with this one. I used another camera, which was quite crappy. So I upgraded it to uh, AKKS A IO camera. Uh, which is supposed to have better uh, image and uh, feedback. So let's see how it goes. Um, I will also test it with a 300 milliamps battery to to gain weight. This setup currently is 77 grams all up weight, I think, with the 450 battery. Um, and with the 300, it should come at 68 grams, which is quite uh, sweet. Uh, wait for this kind of uh, build. Um, let's see how it goes. We'll discuss uh, about the, the pickle later uh, because it will be easier to do on a proper bench. See you.
we're back home after this uh, quick fly session um, with the pickle 3 inch frame so let's make a proper review this time of the, um, the pickle frame because I never never made it actually so um, and this is one of my design which is a stretched um, two pick style frame uh, called the pickle 3 inch based on the, on the pickle frame um, and as the name of the frame frame states it, it uh, fits 3 inch props um, you can find it on Thingiverse uh, as a free design uh, up to you to make it cut uh, according to your needs uh, on a CNC service and stuff like that um, usually you use CNC Madness in the United States um, which is a really great service and uh, you get uh, great frames and great quality products uh, uh, on a low cost, it's not uh, it's not very expensive. Uh, such a frame comes out at about ten dollars, I think, uh, cut. So it's very very interesting compared to to buy such a frame in the on a shop or something like that. Um, so uh, what can I say more about this? Uh, it's made to fit uh, motors that have three uh, nine millimeter mounts uh, up to twelve millimeter mounts. Uh, three or four holes um, so you can use a beefier configuration than the one I use currently um, the frame by itself this version which is called the true X uh, version 1.1 I think on the Thingiverse uh, page uh, is around 6.5 grams uh, which is uh, interestingly light for such a setup um, so as I said my goal was to, to make a very light setup this one is 49 grams dry uh, that is um, compar comparable to to, uh, to pick a 65 millimeter kind of uh, build but um, a bit upscaled um, I use Beta FPV 1103 motors uh, 8000 kV um, you can probably get better options or something like that. Um, HQ Prop T uh, T three uh, by two, which are the new B Blade three inch uh, lights that are very good for this kind of setup. Um, what did I use? Uh, the camera is an AKK uh, S A version. Um, this camera is an um, all-in-one camera with uh, with the VTX built-in, and um, comes out at 4.3, 4.4 grams, um, which is not maybe the lightest, but the quality is very very satisfying um, from what I tested today. So I'm quite glad to to have made uh, this upgrade. Um, the mount by is itself is custom. I designed this one to fit the, this particular camera and I think it's a bit heavy because it's two, two grams, two grams and, and some uh, so I have to work it a bit uh, more um, on the rear as you can see it have a, a mount for the this uh, crossfire trimmed antenna uh, which was nicknamed the mortal T because uh, basically you chop it and uh, you're not using a precise machine to get the exact uh, length needed uh, for a uh, for the wavelength to get it correctly, but it does the job very well. Um, and this kind of mount is called, I guess, a Febu FPV mount because he's one of the first guy to to came up with this kind of um, setup with the the, the crossfire antenna trim and put on top. Um, the flight controller is a Beta FPV 12 amps board, um, first, uh, very first version, uh, I think it's called 1.1, um, because I have it for months in this quad, in fact, so no, no need to change it, it works perfectly, perfectly well. Um, a capacitor on the uh, XT30, and a rubber band uh, to hold the battery. Okay, it's mounted sideways. Uh, it's the lightest solution to, to 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 fit a battery on such a frame, and it's sufficiently good and uh, robust to, to 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 fly it and to crash and fly back. Uh, no no issue with that. It's half a gram, I think, so it's uh, no 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 better options. I think, or I'm almost convinced, uh, right now to 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 install such a battery uh, in such in such a build.
um, on the flight characteristics. Um, I really like how it flies. I adjusted a bit, a slight bit, the, the PIDs on uh, on today's flight session. Um, just a bit less. Uh, no, 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 no. Just a bit more uh, D to to get a better better feel. It was a bit shaky on some uh, some uh, maneuvers, so it's it feels right, right, uh, all right uh, on my last battery. Um, the flights with the 450 milliamps battery that is the ha uh, heaviest setup I think it's, uh, it's it comes around uh, 80 grams um, feels great you you still feel that it's a bit underpowered um, in the top end uh, when you when you push the throttle hard on something like that but on the low end it flies really interestingly because it's very um, uh, very agile and maneuverable and um, you can fly it slow, you can fly it fast, it responds quite quite okay. Um, not necessarily the best setup you can get or something like that, but it's perfectly fine for my style of flight and I guess most of the people will would, would like such a setup. So it, it's not a big issue. Um, when you put the 300 milliamps battery, the setup comes down to uh, 68 grams. So now we have something that is very, very more, uh, very, very responsive. In fact, uh, you feel it; it's way lighter because you basically gain ten grams or or so, uh, and you you can really feel it. Uh, so you get more response in the in top end of the throttle, uh, but maybe more more tuning for uh, for such a setup. But it was right. I prefer with the heavier battery because you have more uh, more control, in fact, on the on the machine. Um, that's about all. If you like this setup, I put all the links um, to the the gear I use on it, uh, except the mount because it's unfinished yet. But you you can you can probably find better 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 solutions on on the internet on Thingiverse or. Or a site like that, uh, you have all all the all the product links in the, in the description below. Um, so I have to thank you for watching and being here. And uh, please like, subscribe, dislike, or do whatever you <laughs> do whatever you want. Leave a comment or something like that. And um, see you next time. Bye bye everyone.